Greetings. I'm John Calvin. I'm coming to you from OFC 2014. And here we have one of our technology demonstrations, one of eight here at the exhibit hall. We're showcasing uh, active optical cable uh, measurements and compliance and conformance uh, systems in this station right here. We have a BERT scope, a BSA 286C a sampling scope, and a Pattern Pro 32 gig PPG in this configuration along with the LE320, a linear equalizer. These four products are brought together to actually test an active optical cable. Uh, this is a InfiniBand EDR based uh, active optical cable. And what we're doing is actually feeding it an impaired signal, uh, impaired in both amplitude as well as with regards to jitter content. We uh, feed it into this linear equalizer here to put um, the, uh, the final filtering and parameters required to satisfy the spec. We feed the signal through the, uh, the active optical cable. We use the remote heads on the sampling scope right here to actually measure the signal that gets to the far end of the cable, and that's what we're actually showcasing up here on the screen. One of the unique capabilities of this test station here is our ability to actually change dynamically and electronically the amount of data-dependent jitter that we inject into this topology. I'll demonstrate over here. This is a control panel for our linear equalizer product and I can simply modify some of the impulse response of the channel that we're actually feeding through this design. And you notice right here that the eye closes. We actually introduce data-dependent jitter by simply modifying these taps. And we have a number of tools that allow users to uh, model data-dependent uh, components going through the linear equalizer to adjust and be able to control them which is really important for receiver testing in general, particularly at these speeds where so much of the attention and the focus is on equalizer designs, DFE circuits, and things of that nature. Really, the characterization design engineers start with receiver testing, and there's tools like this that enable that.